Hi, this is Maya from the Worldwide Good News, and I am talking to you straight from the TEDx San Francisco. For those of you who don't know what TED is, it stands for Technology, Entertainment, and Design. It is an amazing event that uh, the TED uh, originally has been going on for many years in Monterey, and it's a place to spread amazing ideas. The TEDx is a smaller independent event, and they can be held anywhere in the world, and it is another place for people to just bring amazing ideas and talk about them and share them, meet people, meet the community of change agents in the world. So we're gonna talk to some people today and listen to unbelievable and beautiful new ideas. So I'll talk to you soon. Hi Jessica, how are you doing? I'm doing great. And you're here volunteering or working at the event? Yeah, I'm a volunteer. My sister helps organize the event, so helping her out for the day. That's great. Yeah. And what do you think about this event? Are you excited about it? I'm super excited. The theme this year is Alive. Um, hopefully I can learn a little bit about life. <laughs> and they bring in awesome speakers every year, so hoping to sneak in and kind of get off the clock a little bit. Yeah, so what, is, what makes you alive? What makes me alive? Um, people, my boyfriend here, <laughs> my sister who I'm helping out today, my parents are going to be at the event too, so family. Great, thank you so much thank and you. have a great day. You too. Hi Crystal, how are you doing? Good. Good, how are you enjoying the first half of TED? You know what, I, I have to say that it was really so exciting that uh, you see TED uh, online and actually being in the room and sitting through and going through an entire process of uh, a program versus just getting your you know your instant fix is really important um, and so I am enthralled by the entire whole three hour swelling package of you know sitting there and experiencing the theater of what is TED and um, it's been extraordinary. I thought it was really interesting that there was the connection of having the woman who is doing um, teaching how to prepare midwives and whatnot and then immediately moving into um, man and technology and robots and whatnot and the irony of that and then closing out the entire piece with going back to the importance of human interaction and being present and live theater and so the curation experience that you get with TED SF live is so intriguing because it just adds so much more context to the overall experience. That's awesome and what makes you alive? Breathing. That's a and good one. And friends, people, awesome. yeah, people awesome. make me alive. Awesome, thank you, Crystal. Thank you. How are you doing? I'm good. How are you? Good. How are you enjoying TED so far? Oh, a little jet lag. Good. Jet lag? I just came in from India. From India. An wow. Hour ago. Wow. And you, and you've been oh. there. Oh, that's a Jenga behind us. They just lost it. Yeah. Things. So. Are you here just for the TED or are you here? Yes. Yeah? yeah? Wow, that's great. No, I do work in the city. I'm at UCSF. Okay. Yeah. And how are you enjoying uh, the first half of TED? It's interesting. It, it has a lot to do with my work, so. Great. What do you do? I am a global health scientist and researcher. Great. I do work uh, in mental health and I just came back from the slums of Mumbai. Wow. That's amazing. Yeah. Yeah. So, and what makes you feel alive? Helping others. Helping others? Yeah. That's wonderful. Thank you so much. Hi, Julie. How are you doing? Good. How are you? Good. So what brings you to TED? Um, actually, I was here and I was representing Sparky by Mark Hornblatt, who came in um, Man and Machine, and the uh, second part of the first segment of TED Regionals. And um, I just, it's just been really exciting. We're just coming in, kind of brought our work in and and um, everything's so exciting here. I really like the idea of TED Talks Regionals because as a lot of the speakers have said, it's bringing TED Talks locally and really showcasing the talents in your local city and San Francisco has so much local talent. And um, I'm great on regionals and TEDx San Francisco. What makes you feel alive? What makes me feel alive? Art, art and culture. 
So I'm here with the uh, official slow sex goddess. <laughs> so, and uh, I really enjoyed your talk. It was pretty amazing. Um, and what, like, you brought the breast news to women, the openness of actually getting intimate with your own body and creating intimacy. So, how did you enjoy a being on that stage? And what is your message to the world? Oh my God, it was one of the most. Uh, fulfilling moments of my life, the moment when I got to say that female orgasm is key for everyone, it's key for women, it's not too bad for the men, and it has to do with our fundamental capacity to connect. That's awesome, and it really touched everybody, you could see everybody's energy moving, yeah, it was sweet. really to get to like the truth about humans, about yeah. like we need to connect, we need to feel, and yeah. I want to really thank you for that. Thank you. Yeah, moving all the fear aside, and, like getting back to what's basic and important and intimacy and connection and relationship. And uh, you know, I'm not going to ask you what makes you feel alive, but can you tell us what makes you feel alive? <laughs> <laughs> I, you know, I think it's being deeply touched by something and then having the opportunity to share it with other people. Oh, that's awesome. Thank you so much. Hey, Lisa, how are you doing? Hi, Maya. How are you doing? Good. How are you enjoying TED so far, the first part? Very much. It's a lovely thing. What a, what a way to begin by having some of the audience jump up and, and dance for us. Yeah, that was a lot of fun. We did yeah. a little art uh, show in the beginning, a little dance show in the beginning. Uh, yeah. Almost a flash mob. It yeah. was like a flash mob. Yeah. So what are you getting from this day? Like, what is your thoughts of how it's been going? Um... It's just really nice to be in a space where people have orchestrated inspiration for our benefits and um, I'm liking how there are, you know, it's it's dancing from one thing to another where there's a, it flows but it's it's also, they're all different, um, there's some really great speakers and, and uh, I hope to go home and process everything, I mean there's a lot happening, yeah. so go home and process it and uh, have that fit into my world and my life and it's giving me ideas and I'll get on the internet and explore more what all these people have offered in their snippets. Oh, that's awesome. And what makes you feel alive? I love living in a body. I think it's really cool. We have 50 trillion cells all dancing together. That's awesome. Thank you so much. Enjoy the rest of the day. You're welcome. Thanks, Maya. Hi, Nathan. How are you? Good. How are you doing? Good. And you're part of Berkeley Bionics. Yes, I'm one of the co-founders of Berkeley Bionics. That's quite an amazing, amazing company. I've, I've heard about you before, Ted, but today I actually got to see that happening live. Yeah, it's, uh, it's just a fantastic thing to work on. I mean, to really see people light up when they get to use it for the first time, is, it's wonderful. Uh, yeah, and you got the whole, the whole crowd light up. I mean, to see Amanda was in a wheelchair five minutes before and then walking is... It's almost like a, 200 years ago she can walk like the, the magician. It basically, that's what I felt was happening on stage. <laughs> How did it make you feel? Uh, you know, I, I'm so close to it that now it's, to be honest, it's very hard for me to be watching it and not thinking about the, the steps through the process. But then every once in a while it just hits me and it's like, oh my God, you know, it's, it's a big deal, you know. I, it's huge, it's huge. Yeah, it's very... It's a very fun thing to work on and to, to see what it can do for people. And it's a very great work for, for humanity, so I want to thank you for doing that. <laughs> Thanks. And enjoying TED today? Yeah. Yeah, it's been interesting, definitely. And the last question is, what makes you come alive? What makes me come alive? Uh, building machines that help people. That's great, and thank you for doing it. All right, thank you. Thank you. So I'm here with some of the most powerful people at TED today, uh, and I have a whole group of amazing people <laughs> who uh, perform miracles for us today. Uh, as a group, uh, you are changing the face of humanity, the future of humanity. So I want to thank you for that. How did you enjoy TED today and being in the spotlight for changing humanity? Well, for me it is, it's not. A, it's so not about us, and as we learned at TED today, it's about we. It's not about me, and that together as test pilots, we walk for humanity. We walk for our mothers and our fathers and our sisters and brothers and the friends, and 
all of our um, those people that share the same dream as we do to stand up on our legs and to be tall in our bodies and to walk and that we're changing with uh, scientific advancement to augment human potential we are changing the the cause of paralysis and people who are in wheelchairs and that they have every reason to hope to live with hope and to be excited and and not to live in fear um, but hope is real and alive and that comes with bionic technology thank you it's been like a full cycle so it went from we first so Berkeley bionics thought of we so including us wheelchair users then it became me first because for me walking again was yeah. me first yeah. walking again and then it goes back to we if that makes sense to all the humanity and all the other wheelchair users and people who are paralyzed so it's just a full cycle and today was just a reassurance and awakening of all of those feelings thank you that's amazing and for all humanity to be able to walk to the next evolution I mean that was what I got Absolutely, and that's that's why we're here. And it, again, we've got not just you know one person on stage, but we've got six people who are in wheelchairs who have experienced the gift of standing tall and walking in the most natural gait with a bent knee and heel to toe, and and that's what it's about. Um, it's it's not stiff legged braces anymore. There's bionic technology out there that can truly transform lives. Thank you so much. Um, I just would like to say Ted is an amazing event, and I'm really glad that they had us here to, uh, you know, display the awesome technology that Berkeley Bionics made for us, and very beneficial for everyone. Thank you all Thank for you. being here. Thank you. <laughs>Really enjoy TED. It's a great, great, great uh, space for ideas. Um, and it really is a reminder of what us as a species and as a race is capable of if we join together, work together, and help great ideas spread.